Hi everyone, I hope you all had a meaningful Simchat Torah, Shemini Atzeret, wherever any of you are across the world listening. We obviously heard the terrible news yesterday morning, Just I was coming back from a synagogue, we didn't actually know anything until about uh, 12 o'clock, but the, all the, the rockets, all the people that have been murdered in Israel, our thoughts are with them, you say to hit him for them, and uh, we really hope there's going to be peace and uh, everything good in Israel is going to is going to come out after this horrific last uh, 48 hours. Obviously, the government is going to respond. Our thoughts are with families that have uh, suffered kidnappings, people that have been murdered. Our thoughts are with all these families. And uh, we're all, obviously, naturally very worried. What can we do out here? We're meant to actually travel back to Israel in the next couple of days. We don't know if that's going to happen at this point in time. The schools are shut in Israel tomorrow, it, it should be the whole country. People have to take safety, take shelter at this point in time. So it's very, very worrying with regards to this whole situation. So my thoughts are with all the families, anyone that obviously, anyone injured out there, anyone that's passed away, all the families. There's, there's a fear also, you know, people that are even safe. What can happen next at that, this point in time? That, so people across the world, what we can do is, you know, do a lot of uh, mitzvot. For our heroic soldiers are coming to do something to hit him, everything else. Uh, call the family members or the friends that are in Israel. Uh, let them know that we're thinking about them at this stage in time. And we hope that there's just going to be peace all in Israel and all across the world is, uh, is going to come. And this was absolutely horrific what has uh, actually occurred at this point in time. All that we all can see from the media, all of the world leaders are with Israel at this point in time. Uh, with uh, the, even the British, uh, all the political leaders have supported uh, Israel and are giving support. Also, we've heard Joe Biden and every, pretty much a lot of the prominent leaders across the world. And uh, very worrying times what we can do to heal him. In the meantime, we can have Israel in our thoughts with everything that, we do, can, that we're going to do. We can help the soldiers, the heroic soldiers, say to heal him for them, but provide them with everything, financial aid. And I uh, hope everything is okay. And uh, just hopefully we come from this period where it's been from Rosh Hashanah all the way to Simchat Torah at this point in time. So I give a thought with regards to this. You know, it's, uh, I heard actually yesterday morning there was a friend of mine gave a short drasha inside the synagogue. He talked about that at this point in time, uh, we've done everything between Rosh Hashanah to Sukkot, to uh, Rosh Hashanah Rabbah there was. When we uh, beat the Arava at the end of uh, at the end of Hoshan Rabbah, coming into Shemini Atzeret, we've done all this work. Uh, work. We started from Rosh Chodesh Elo. Many people did Slichot from the beginning of it. We've uh, especially during Aseret Yemei Teshuvah, we did, we increased all the mitzvot and all the work that we did. We uh, took on extra things which we uh, promised. We ha we went through Rosh Hashanah, two days of Rosh Hashanah. Went through Yom Kippur. The whole fast went through Tzom Gedalia. In the interim. And then we came into Sukkot. We built the Sukkahs. Naturally, we uh, prayed every single day and everything else. And here we are now. We've come out of Sukkot. And now it's not the time to detox and everything that we do. At this point in time now, we have to keep that momentum with everything that we've done. Uh, over the progress that we've all done in the last uh, pretty much 52 days since uh, Rosh Chodesh Elul, where this whole period started. So we have to keep it and we have to keep this now for the safety of Israel. Keep up with all that work that we've done and build on it and uh, not have a downward spiral, spiral at this point in time. And uh, may Hashem protect everyone in Israel. Hopefully the situation is going to get better. Hopefully all, all the, the people that were kidnapped are going to be rescued and come back safely. Hopefully the injured people will make a full Rosh and there will be no more casualties. And uh, our thoughts are with Israel and the people in the army, the heroic soldiers, whatever the government's going to do. It, the, it, it united the country together. There's this achdut again, which unfortunately there wasn't over since during these uh, previous election time periods has been. So there's been an achdut also, and hope, hopefully Hashem is going to protect Israel and there'll be no more casualties. Wishing you all a good day and a good Isruhag after Sukkot here in London.